Big shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go with 2021. Today we're heading down to the bottom end of Tasmania to rip apart a 35 meter eucalyptus. It's got crazy amounts of rot in the trunk of this thing. It's huge around the butt. So anyhow, stay tuned and um, yeah, we'll bring you all the crazy footage from doing this big one. Part two. <laughs> Reese is attaching the 916 Samson down here to the uh, excavator. Now this might seem silly to you people, but that is our client's letterbox. And we don't want to destroy it, because I don't want to replace anything today. So we're going to pull this whole leader out back that way there. My face cut facing back over this way, so the whole thing goes back this way. <laughs> The letterbox, everything's good. Clean the road off. Onto these bits. Oh, it's pretty exciting. I'm going to do a big limb walk all the way out there and get that tip off so we don't damage the farmer's fence. So here we go. Down here like this. Grab hold of that like that. And then just keep moving. Walk out here. Got a bit of dry wood. When you get to about here, put a flip line on. Although actually it's pretty scary because if it cracks, it's going to take me down with it. So it's probably better not to put a flip line on at the moment. I've seen these things crack out and they're very, very scary. As you can see, it's wobbling around a bit there. I'll just be real gentle. And uh, we'll just take him off here, I think. <laughs> Oh, look at that, inside the fence and everything, bloody beautiful. Okay, for anybody that doesn't know, this is a running bowline. Just show you. I'm attaching this to the top of the tree here so that we can pull the top out with the excavator. Punch it straight out through there. So this is running bowline. Through the hole. Bye. Here, and what that does is that cinches up tight here, ready for Reese to pull it out that way. I've got the bag up here, and I can virtually put this bag wherever I want it. Just wait for Reese to get out of the way, knocking trees over. Look at him, this is what he loves. He just loves to come and knock trees over, especially if they've got rot in them and he doesn't feel too guilty about it. That's for sure. Anyhow, I'll just put that down there beside him. And that scared him. Okay, I got a little bit of a shake from him just there. A little bit of a flinch. Before taking a big top like this, get your climb line out. You do not want to go down with the top. So, and also undo your knot so that it doesn't get snagged way up there somewhere. You do not want to have to climb to the top of a big tree to take your climb line out. Pull your line out. Get ready for the most exciting part, which is taking the top. Here we go. Right, yeah, all the other leaders are off now. All that's what left is this top. It's about 15 metres high from the point where I'm going to cut it just here. <laughs> 